Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Adobe Lightroom CC Cloud version, we'll be taking a look at how to color correct this image and take it from this over to this. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click that like button and, of course, share with your friends. Just click on share right down there below the video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any videos in the future. And if you want to learn a lot more about Adobe's Lightroom program, Take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link right down there at the top of the description as well. Okay, let's get to it. We'll be working through the steps to color correct this image and make it a much better image. But first, let's just hide this film strip down here. It's kind of in the way. It's a button right down there, hide film strip. Little larger images way and no distractions across the bottom. That's a lot better. Now we're on the right hand side, top button right there. This is your edit section in here. Notice how it just kind of pushes the picture over and then swings out the edit section. We're working with this as color. Several sections here, light, color, effects, detail, optics, and geometry, and some presets down below. We'll ignore those in this video. I tend to like working from the top down to the bottom. I'll start up here and I'll just kind of do the best I can here and just kind of add in as I go. We won't need the optics or the geometry for this particular video here for this particular cleanup. Everything will be done up here in the upper sections. And we'll start off with the light right here. And one thing that I like to do is to bring up the histogram up here across the top just to kind of see where things are in the image. And you'll find that little three dots right there and come down. There it is, show histogram. That's this thing at the top. This shows you the distribution of colors and values. Notice that everything in here is pushed over to the right hand side. There's way too much white or bright colors over here. There's almost nothing in the dark areas. We need to move things back over here towards the left. We need to bring in some darks. We need to move everything here towards the middle. Just leave some whites in there but kind of balance things out. So you can get an idea of what needs to be done on our image in here just from looking at that. Also looking at the image, it's just a little bit cool. I mean, there's there's some warmth back in here and so forth, but it's a little bit on the cool side. So I think we can warm this up and that will help the image quite a bit as well. And also, we want to be able to do some color adjustments here. As long as we're working the light section, we can also do color adjustments. And that's this button right there. This brings up the tone curve. And this allows you to adjust your values in the image by actually grabbing the curve and moving it around. But notice we have three color options here, red, green, and blue. So we can actually adjust the tone curve for individual color ranges, which means we can adjust color in here also under the light setting. Okay, let's click on the reds. We'll just come right down here. Click on the reds. We'll do this one first. Here's our red values. You can see everything here is really over on the right-hand side, really kind of pushed up here. It's kind of down below. What I wanted is I want to move the darks a little bit cooler and move the lights a little bit warmer. Just get a bit of a split toning effect in their cooler darks and warmer highlights just as a basis. We can do that by putting some control points in here. Just click right in the middle of this line. That's one control point. And now if I come down here, I can grab this. If I move this line, it will move at that point and the other line will move in the opposite direction. Kind of a neat trick. So I pull this one down. Notice how the top one moves up. You get like an S-curve thing happening in there. So we want it just to come down just a little bit. Not too much. Just a bit. And what this is doing is it's cooling off our darks a little bit. And it's warming up the lights just a little bit. But it's keeping it all in the same curve here. It's a very, very subtle adjustment. We'll do more in there as we go. But it's very, very subtle. Now right here we can show or hide that. So you can see there's kind of a cool and then there it is a bit warmed up. But the wall down here, which is in our dark tones, has gone from kind of a warm wall, which really washes it out, down to more of a cool tone. So we've improved our values a little bit already just with this one minor adjustment and our skin tones look a lot better as well. So really, you know, it's a little subtle adjustment, but it does a lot to push us in the right direction. Okay, now Let's move up a little bit, come up here to our slider controls. And there are quite a few of these exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites. And this is as I roll over these, get this little pop-up thing there. Gives you an example of what it does. It's kind of hard to get that pop-up to 
really show. There it is. You have to get it exactly right. Just kind of what it does. Now we have a problem in here with the highlights right up in there. It's really burned out. Just totally totally washed out up there in the hot. So you need to bring the highlights down a bit to get some detail back up in here. So let's go to our highlights. That's this one. And if we move this to the left, you see right there, go back and forth. See how it's pulling down the brightness up there in the upper left-hand corner, most of it, because that's where most of the lights are. And by doing that, we'll get detail back there, and that helps to equalize the picture. I'm going all the way to the left. Also, notice the histogram up here. As I pull this to the left, it moves all those values towards the left-hand side. It begins to push things back towards the middle, which is where I want. Okay, so that takes care of that bit up here. At least gets it closer anyway. It's not perfect. It'll never be perfect, but it's a lot closer than it was. We'll get that even better as we move further forward. Let's now work with our blacks a little bit. Want the blacks a bit darker down here. They're really kind of washed out still. So go to the blacks. If you go to the left-hand side, they go darker. Right-hand side goes lighter. So we'll move them to the left. I'll go real far here. You can see that gets a lot darker in there. And we're getting more darkness in her face and also in the rock wall. You don't want to go too far yet. You know, keep these things subtle, aside from the highlights we had to go as far as we could because it was so bad up there. But everything else, keep them fairly subtle right now. We'll be adding more to this. So the value that I used right here was a negative 17. And that just richens up the blacks a little bit down here. Okay, now we can increase our contrast a bit in the image, which will also darken down the darks and, again, lighten up some of our lights in here as well. Our contrast is right here. So you move the contrast to the right. Increases contrast, move it to the left, decreases contrast. You see what it's doing? It's it's flattening out our curve up here. It's moved to the right. And that's, again, more normalizing everything in the picture. I kind of like, like to go this. I go back and forth a little bit and see how things look. And then I'll find a spot that I like. Looks like right around in there is pretty good. I'm just looking at it visually. And when I look over here, actually, that's right where I had it before. At plus 31. So right there, we've increased our contrast as well. So... This is looking a lot better at this point already. Haven't done much, but it's looking a lot better. Right down here, this little button here, this goes back and forth between the original and the one that you're working on. And you can see right there, it's already vastly improved. And we're still just in our top section. That takes care of the light sections. Close that one down. We can now come down to color. Only thing I care about in here, the color temperature I think is just fine. It looks like it's pretty good white balance in there. But I want to make it a bit more vibrant. So if you pull the vibrance up, this will increase the amount of colors you can see here. The nice thing about the vibrance is it really doesn't adjust your contrast at all. And it doesn't tend to block things up too much. Just want to increase our vibrance. And on this one, I'll set it at 30. I'll just type it in this time. Just double click here and you can type it in. There's 30. So that increases the vibrance, brings it back, you know, brings some of the color back in that was washed out previously. So I brought back in some of our color. Okay, looking good. Let's just close that one down. Now we're down to effects. We can improve the image a bit. It's still way too bright up here. And it's kind of bright right down here. And this is detracting away from the subject here in the middle. So it can darken down the outside edges a bit with a vignette. That can help refocus the view in our main subject area. Now you don't want to go too far on this. You don't want it to look like it's a vignette but you want to have just a bit of a darkening down in the outside edges. Let's take a look at that. And that's under the effects right here. So we have clarity, dehaze, vignette, and grain. There's also some split toning. We won't be doing anything down here at the split toning. That's not needed on this one. What I want is a vignette. If I pull to the right, it lightens the edges or corners. Go to the left, it darkens the corners. Now that's way too much. But if I pull it just a little bit here, you see how it's darkening down the corners just a bit without looking like I'm vignetting the image. That's about as far as I can go. If I go, you know, too much further, maybe about to here, it still looks natural. If I go, if I go much further, it begins to get an actual vignetting effect. I don't want to go that far. So I want just a bit, as much as I can push in here to darken down those edges out here without looking like a vignette. And that tends to help this upper corner up here and that corner right down there. It's maybe a bit too dark over on the right-hand side, but that's not really important. It's shadow anyway, so that looks natural. So a bit of a vignetting, just enough to tone down the background brightness out there 
and again help us to refocus our concentration on the foreground image. And that looks pretty nice. And let's go ahead and we'll close this one now. I think we're fine with the effects. The last thing that we may need to do here is a bit of sharpening. Most photographs can use a little bit of sharpening on them. So come down to detail. Yeah, sharpening, noise reduction, color noise reduction. We don't need any of those things, but sharpening will help. And just a little bit. Notice we go here from the left-hand side at zero, and you can go all the way up here to 150, which is way too much. Just a touch. I'll just bring in about 15 on this scale. Just a little bit of sharpening to kind of help clean it up just a bit. Okay, so far so good. At this point, we can look at everything and do any little tweaks that you want. We're right about where we want to be. Let's examine this before and after, and that looks a lot better as you can see in here. I think we're just about there. I'll do just a little bit more, maybe a little bit more whiteness in here. We're losing some of the whiteness in her dress. So let's see if we can adjust our white. So back up here to our light. And the whites are right down here. We've already done our blacks. Let's just take our whites and we'll push the whites up a bit. And you can see here, it's lightening the whole picture up, but it's also brightening up the dress mostly. And I think just about... Oh, about in here looks pretty good to my eye. About 47, 48 maybe. Right around in there just to get some more whiteness back into the dress. And there we go. There's our nice color correction and really improving this image from a real washed out kind of cool looking thing that really didn't work out too well. Kind of a dull picture and just a bit of color correction in here. We can make it really pop out and make it a much better photograph. So there we go. Some basic color correction done here in Adobe's Lightroom CC, and again, this is the mobile version, the cloud-based version of Lightroom CC. Don't forget, if you liked this video, click that like button, and of course, share, with that little share button right down there, right below. Don't forget also to subscribe as well, and again, for my complete training course on Adobe's Lightroom program, take a look at the links right down there below the video. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.